Mohammed, first to you. Your response to that jobs data about 31 minutes ago. Really tricky, John, and it highlights the fluidity, the unusual uncertainty, not just about economics and policy, but also what's being introduced by policy communication. This is a very, very difficult environment now. Um, and I, I feel for Rick and others in the investment management <laughs> industry that have to make decisions based on this. Well, Rick, you get some sympathy this morning. I'm sure that's welcome. <laughs> what do you make of it? Uh, uh, <laughs> Deservedly so. The, uh, listen, I think that, I mean, the number is strong. I mean, they, you know, listen, there's some governors on this. I mean, you take some comfort with the average aerial earnings coming down. You know we are we're coming off the boil in, in terms of hiring. But gosh, you, you look at these component parts, and we talked about it last month on the show. You look at leisure, hospitality, healthcare, education. You're still not where you need to get to in terms of fulfilling the job requirements or the or the number of people for those sectors. So you you know you've got some durability to this employment strength, and it came through again uh, again this month. So, like Mohammed said, you've got what is a solid a solid employment report. You've got solid um, hiring in this country, and it makes the uh, the Fed's job tough. In the immediate aftermath of that jobs report, Rick, it appears that we're trading on everything but the headline number. We're trading on a reduction right. in hours worked, an increase in the participation rate, wages coming in softer, unemployment up to 3.6%. Would you say that's the correct interpretation, the right move? So, so you know, quite frankly, I think, it's, I think there's some of that. I think it's more of, you know, you got a little bit of, uh, of whiff of financial instability in the last 24 hours. That's what's buoyed a lot of, particularly the front end of the yield curve, is people saying, gosh, you know, long and variable lag may just have sped up a bit. You're seeing that play out. This is a pretty unique situation on the West Coast. That being said, it's illustrative of you've got to think through you know, how do you quickly slow down things like commercial real estate, residential real estate, et cetera? What's the impact on the system? I think that's a bigger factor than, quite frankly, a, uh, what is, you know, a strong, albeit slowing in some areas, uh, payroll report. Mohammed, January 26th, you wrote for Bloomberg Opinion why the Fed should raise rates 50 basis points. They didn't. The Fed chair earlier this week opened the door to a 50 basis point move. And to Rick's point, Mohammed, we've now introduced some financial stability risk and yields have backed away big time. So where are you now? So, John, you know my view. Because the Fed has been consistently late, the probability of a market accident and the probability of the Fed having to hike into a slowing economy and a recession is uncomfortably high. That is the reality. That is what happens when you fall so far behind. Um, Rick is absolutely right. I mean, the marketplace is keeping an eye on too many market accidents and saying, you know what? The Fed won't have the guts to do what it needs to do for inflation. That is what you're seeing playing out because parts of this employment report suggest 25, parts suggest 50. And when you've got that balance, you then look for a tiebreaker. And the immediate tiebreaker is what's happening in selected banks. Now, it's absurd, John, for me to say, of course, next week's CPI will matter a great deal. And that will be another tiebreaker. And it's absurd because we have become excessively data dependent. You and I have talked about this. There is no strategic or structural underpinning to monetary policy right now. So you've got a yield curve the two-year points, which is going all over the place, you've got expectations mm -hmm. for policy going all over the place, and that is not how you conduct either a very important segment of the marketplace or policy.